I've done a lot of stories about feuds in regards to The Howard Stern Show. The so-called shock jock has feuded with many people over the years, including Bon Jovi, Tool, members of The Who, David Lee Roth, and Scott Stapp. I've done videos on all these topics. The link is down below. Back in the day, two of the most frequent guests on Stern's show included Ozzy Osbourne and the members of ICP or Insane Clown Posse. Osborne would even appear in Stern's 1997 movie Private Parts. In 1999, ICP made at least two appearances on Stern's show. One was on August 19th, and the other was the following day, the 20th. During their August 19th appearance, the members of Slipknot pretended to have a feud with the group and were able to crash the Stern show and promote their new self-titled debut album, which came out about a month and a half earlier. It was during that same August 19th appearance where the members of ICP made some disparaging remarks about Sharon Osbourne, Ozzy Osbourne's wife and manager. It culminated with ICP returning to the show the following day and squaring off in the studio with Sharon. Shaggy 2 Dope of ICP would tell Loudwire during their Fact or Fiction segment in 2020, every time we would go on Howard Stern, they'd always put someone on there to antagonize us. They like to see us getting riled up. I guess we do ill shit when we get riled up. Slipknot told them that we had a mad beef and this and that, so they let them up there. I thought it was funny as hell and smart on Slipknot's part. It was during ICP's August 19th appearance on The Stern Show that they made disparaging remarks about Sharon Osbourne's character and physical appearance. Following the interview that day, Sharon would leave a voicemail for The Stern Show saying she was upset with ICP's comments and wanted to confront them on the air the next day. It would mark the first time Sharon would be on The Stern Show. The whole feud between ICP and Sharon Osbourne, according to Rolling Stone and MTV, stemmed from the fact that Osbourne was not just managing her husband's career, but the new metal group Cold Chamber. Osbourne struck up a relationship with the band after seeing them on the 1996 edition of the annual Ozfest tour. It had turned out that Cold Chamber was touring with headliner ICP and other opener Biohazard on the amazing Jekyll Brothers tour. But after several shows, Cold Chamber was off the tour. Initially, it was claimed that production difficulties were to blame, but it soon came out that money was another reason. Osborne would claim on the Stern show that Cold Chamber had negotiated a rate of $12,500 per show for what would have been a two month long tour. MTV though reported the band was supposed to be paid $9,000 per show for a 27 day tour that saw the band earn almost a quarter of a million dollars. Due to poor ticket sales though, ICP had to scale down the tour and play smaller venues and allegedly they fired Cold Chamber just two shows in. But Violent J would push back telling Stern that Cold Chamber wasn't a good fit for the tour and that only around a dozen or so people had asked for refunds following the announcement that Cold Chamber was off the bill. During ICP and Sharon Osbourne's August 20th appearance on The Stern Show, both camps pointed fingers at each other, with Osbourne claiming Cold Chamber would be following a lawsuit against ICP for breach of contract. The fight would last for almost 30 minutes on air, and here's a snippet of what went down between ICP and Sharon. You don't even care. Straight up. I'll put All the threatening remarks she said. She said, you guys are going to burn bridges by messing with me. What bridges do we take? What What are they going to do? <laughs> uh, they're going to cut some of our... She's going to pull some strings and get us yanked off some radio stations? What stations? <laughs> You're not even on any stations. That's what I'm saying. Oh, she's going to get MTV to turn against us? There's no threatening. We don't have no MTV. There's no threatening you guys. There is none. We have no help anywhere. Right. What's going on today? No. Alright, Sharon Osbourne, I guess, is a little upset at you guys for your comment you made yesterday. Yeah. Sharon Osbourne is the wife of Ozzy Osbourne, but more importantly, she is a big manager of rock bands. She's a big woman. And uh, I was shocked yesterday when she called up and uh, said she wants to get a hold of you two guys. Did, she, did they hear the tape? Did you hear the tape of uh, Sharon? Let me let me play it for you so you can hear it. This is what Sharon said. She's sitting in the other room. She wants to talk to you. Hi, it's Sharon Osborne calling. So those two f clowns want to slap my face, Casey. That's fine. I'll go in the studio. Let them f try. Let me tell you something. I weigh 220 f pounds. I'm bigger than the pair of them put together. I'll beat the sh out of the pair of the f and my old man will come with me. <laughs> oh, don't play him. So give us a call. Bye. Yep. Her, <laughs> husband is, like, her husband is Ozzy Osbourne, and he can put the devil on you. That's yeah, right. He that's, can that's curse the, you. That's the truth. <laughs> right. All right. Let's 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 meet Sharon Osbourne. I was going to sit you guys on the couch with her, but I could see it could turn, it turn into violence. Turn yeah, out. So I'm going to ask Sharon to... <laughs> what was that? She wouldn't fit out here with us anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> 
and I was just really upset because it it's really demeaning for my reputation in this industry because I'm not a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, a that's ball the reputation you got. And I'm going to rip your, your balls bitch. off and I'm going to shove them in your mouth. Lady. What? Could I just, uh, sorry, one thing about wrecking your career, I don't need to do that because you've done a very good job yourself. Your no. album stiff, your tour, <laughs> had to ca- you had to cancel dates on your tour, you did 59% according to Polestar listen, overall on your tour. Listen. You're over, your yesterday's new, it wasn't listen. for Howard, your career would really be listen, over. Listen, you, you, you crumpet London <laughs> bitch, listen to what I'm saying to you, all right? I can tell that you were a... a a Harvard graduate. That's right. right. It would turn out that Cole Chamber would in fact file a lawsuit against ICP. The lawsuit alleged that by the second show of the tour, ICP cut Cole Chamber's pay from $9,000 a show to $3,000 and offered it as a take it or leave it proposition. Cole Chamber claimed that in addition to the pay cut, they also had production issues dealing with their lighting and sound check and they opted to leave the tour. Cole Chamber claimed that the proposed pay cut, as well as other production-related concerns, amounted to a breach of contract, and the band was seeking $225,000 in damages, as well as additional punitive damages. The lawsuit would go on to claim that the band was looking for additional damages due to slander and libel, and pointed to the August 20th Stern Show appearance. Following Cole Chamber leaving the ICP tour, they soon hooked up with Slipknot and Machine Head and hit the road. Now perhaps the most infamous part of the August 20th appearance on Stern's show happened when Sharon called ICP and I quote has-beens and bet Violent J $50,000 that ICP's next album wouldn't sell more than 200,000 copies and that they'd lose their recording contract with Island Records. Violent J though shot back at Sharon telling her they would sell 500,000 copies of their next record while poking fun at her appearance and accent as well as her husband Ozzy. It would turn out their next record, their double album Bizarre Bizarre, would go gold selling over half a million units. And according to the members of ICP, Sharon Osbourne never made good on her bet and never paid up. During their appearance on Wikipedia Fact or Fiction on Loudwire, Violent J would reveal she lost the bet super hard. That record went gold. She without question owes us that money. We said, you ain't gotta pay us, just pay it to a charity in our name. Because if it would've went the other way around, I bet you they would've been calling us saying, when are you gonna pay? Shaggy 2 Dope would add, what do you expect from someone who's a liar anyhow? In March of 2000, it was announced that Cole Chamber and Sharon Osbourne would be parting ways with each other, but there wasn't any war of words or lawsuit, but rather a statement claiming the decision was mutual. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Stories. Take care.